So I made a stock market trading bot, and this is how much it made in a week. I've been working on this bot for probably eight to 10 months now, just on the side whenever I have free time, and it's really, really interesting. So uh, basically what a stock trading bot is, is it's a piece of software that trades stocks for you. And it doesn't have to be stocks, it could be cryptocurrencies, maybe futures or options, whatever asset it may be, you can actually build software to trade for you. And that's exactly what I did. I, uh, whenever I had free time at night, I would think about, you know, how could I make some extra money? Um, and I've been kind of investing in the stock market for a while now, somewhat unsuccessfully, but I knew that I was a coder, I knew how to code, and I thought that, you know, why not build some software that could trade stocks for me? Um, and the biggest benefit of using software to invest for you is that there's no emotions, right? You know, it the software executes that trade, it invests in that stock, buys or sells that stock uh, when the conditions are met. And obviously it's only as good as the programmer, as good as the coder, but it can be improved. And that was my main issue with investing in stocks and day trading was my emotions were getting to me and I was getting so worried that, you know, when I was in a position and it was red, I would just sell because I was so, I was so mad and so, you know, so worried that it was going to go to zero yet, you know, within an hour it would go back up. So to fix that problem of the emotional trading, I was like, all right, I'm a good coder. I'm a good programmer. Why don't I just build software to trade for me and get rid of that emotion? So in one week it made $324. I'm going to post the balance sheet here. It made three trades. The first two trades were actually buggy. They were not supposed to happen. And then the last trade was correct. Um, like I said, I've been working on this bot for the past eight months, just in my free time. And there's been many, many bugs. It's not perfect. It's still not perfect, to be honest. There is a lot of um, variables and factors you have to account for when it comes to trading and especially to building some, t some type of software or bot to trade for you. Um, there's so many problems that can occur. Um, you know, a lot of questions you have to ask yourself when you're trying to code one of these is, um, you know, what am I trading? Am I scanning for stocks or am I just trading one stock? Um, what time frame am I using? Am I using indicators, volume? Am I, am I getting news? There's so many different variables that you could use to make a trade that you have to decide which one is the best. Um, in the end, ideally, you want to have multiple different strategies that are running at the same time. That way you're kind of um, diversifying your risk and um, you know what hopefully one good strategy can kind of um, make a lot of profit um, to cover for the losses from the other strategies and more on top of that to you know actually have some extra cash in total I've almost doubled my account size uh, since July so July I started with three thousand dollars and by currently right now I'm at sixty one hundred dollars six thousand one hundred and four dollars to be exact so I've almost doubled my account it doesn't have a very, very high win accuracy, so it doesn't win a lot. It has actually a 54% win accuracy, but because the trades are compounding, meaning that if I get two or three wins in a row, uh, it can bring the account up fast. But that being said, you know, not every month is a good month. For example, October, I was pretty much break even. I was up two trades and then I lost two trades and it was even a bit below break even. So it has uh, what's called a drawdown, which means, um, you know, the highs are good, but it does at times can have up to a 50% drawdown, which meaning like in one month, uh, my account size could go down 50%. So it's very, very risky. And that's why I'm not putting a lot of money into it and testing it. Uh, cause I want to make sure that I can leverage that. And, you know, I make changes, um, pretty much on a, on a week by week basis. So the overall strategy of my bot is it's looking to buy or short or sell uh, on abnormal volume. So when um, my algorithm is noticing abnormal vo volume, it's gonna try and follow the trend and go with um, you know, that trend. So if we see abnormal volume and we see, you know, say a big, really big green candle, uh, in most cases it's gonna go long uh, with that trend and it's looking for a simple 1% take profit and vice versa. If there's a lot of volume and it's a big red candle and the stock's down a lot, it's gonna go short uh, and take a 1% profit. There is a bit of machine learning mixed in with that. It does learn what the best take profit and take loss percentage is, but that's about it. That's all I've added. 
Um, I'm still researching and understanding which machine learning tactics to use. I'm not really sure which one, which, A, if my strategy is even really good enough and if I should spend any more time with it, and B, um, what should my machine learning um, model actually learn on? Should it learn on take profit? Should it learn on, um, you know, volume or indicators or news? I'm not quite sure and I have to experiment more, but um, my, my end goal was to build a trading bot to help me make money and it's done that. The next step is now, you know, taking a step back um, and optimizing my trading bot to make it better and make it take more profit, have less drawdown size on my account and trade a little bit more often because it's, it's not often enough for me. Like I said, um, the last trade it made was December 20th, so it hasn't made a, a trade since then. So basically how it works is you type in a symbol at the top left here. So I have ES, which is S&P 500 um, futures. And then what you want to do, the key is you, what you want to do is back test it. So you want to test your strategy in, in the past to see how well it does. I have a bunch of parameters here like take profit, take loss, you know, initial account size, trade position, position percent, um, if you want to change those. But basically you hit back test, I'm going to delete the old data and then click historical and that's going to back test in history. You're going to see it try and take these trades and then it's going to spit out some information. So total percent win long 66, percent short 54, overall win percentage 62%. And this is over two years worth of data. It shows you all the trades it made. So green triangles are buys, red are sells. It's really messy. I got to work on this, but this is kind of two years worth of data. And then if you want to do it in real time, all you hit is the real time button um, and uncheck the back test. And that will start it in real time and then, um, you know, basically take that strategy and, and, and see how well it does. So you just hit real time there. And it'll start getting candlesticks in real time. And this app connects to my broker, uh, which is Interactive Brokers. So there it is. So anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you want to see more content uh, or if you want to learn more about my trading bot, how it works, how to get started coding your own trading bot, there will be future videos on that. So anyways, thank you guys for watching and have a good one.